Welcome back to Chopping and Grilling with your boy KC. Guess what we got on the menu today? Got something special. We're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna make a margarita pizza. Yes, you know, I'm gonna show you how to make a margarita pizza from the house with your own dough. So let's get over there, you know, set to the ingredients so I can show you how to do it. All right, so let's get into the ingredients for the margarita pizza. Real simple, easy, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you have some dough. Obviously, you have to have some mozzarella, fresh basil, no dry basil, fresh basil. You can get them at your local store and pizza sauce. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into uh, uh, rolling the dough up and everything like that. And we're going to start doing the toppings after that next. But really simple, you guys. You can do this with your kids, you can do it with, you know, with your spouse or whatever like that. It's a really fun thing to do when you're doing pizza, especially if you have folks over. Maybe you want to have a little pizza party, you know what I'm saying? This is a good way to do it. Real easy, easy simple ingredients, and that's it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into rolling the dough. But the first thing you want to do is flour and whatever base. So if you're doing it on your counter or something like that, you know, just... Uh, put a little flour down. You don't have to put a whole lot, but you want you know the dough be you know it's going to be sticky, so you want to make sure that you know saying you do it. Also, too, don't forget to uh, flour your rolling pieces as well. So you know you throw the flour in there, you know, so it's going to stick. So when you roll it, you know, it won't uh, stick to it and stuff like that. All right, and then we just get into the dough and everything like that. You know, so. This is a pretty good dough. I've used different kinds. They're plain. This is the garlic one. I like the garlic because it comes out really good. Good smell and everything like that. So this is the dough and everything. You know how it's a little, how good to you know, put it in a little circle. Get it, get it in the dough a little bit. It's gonna be, it just depends on what, how you add the dough. You need a specific amount, whatever like that. Don't put too much because you don't want to dry out your dough. Stuff like this. But, you know, just, uh, uh, you know, you get to a round circle or whatever. You see, I put the uh, dough in a circle. That's how you want to do the dough. You ain't got to be exact or pretty about it. But just, you know, make sure you, uh, 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 need, you know, knead it out, you know, round enough. About, uh, what, a few inches, you know what I'm saying? Pretty good. This is a pretty good dough. You know, you want to get a uh, what, what, ten inch and round as far as in the dough, stuff like that. You know. Good. And uh, what we do is gonna get over into the next part. Uh, put it on a pan and then put it on the ingredients and stuff like that. Let's we'll see you over in the next part. <laughs> you know, we in a, we in a uh, uh, pizzeria where you're going to be throwing it in there. You can. I mean, you know, I've seen people do it. <laughs> you know, we're going to uh, put it into the pan. You know, some people put cornmeal down. I don't normally do cornmeal. Uh, uh, I like I don't like the texture on the back. But you can, you know, but I use a little spray, you know, butter spray. So I can spray the bottom of your pan. So spray it all the way around. You know, that's all you need. And then uh, what I did was fold the dough. You know, to transport it so you can you know, it, open it up and just spread it, spread it all the way to the tall side and stuff like that. That was great. Nope. Don't worry about it tearing because, you know, it is dope. It's forgivable. So we always remember that. Alrighty. Make sure it's spread all the way around. I know we like to put it up on the sides a little bit, stuff like that. You don't have to do this. This is something extra I don't need to do. You know, make sure the dough is you know, fully in there. Alrighty, let's get over into putting the ingredient, put the sauce and ingredients on. Alright, so don't forget to puncture the uh, dough and do it all over, you know, so the uh, dough won't rise. You know, so that's a key thing. A lot of people forget to do that towards the end. You know what I'm saying? And then they be wondering why they got bu bubbles on their pizza and stuff like that. And that's all you need to do. And then we're going to get into the uh, assembling the margarita pizza. All right, so we're assembling this uh, margarita pizza. Yeah, put enough sauce on there. I like a lot of sauce. That's one thing. And start from the middle. If you ever notice making a pizza, you just, you know, you know, wind it up. And it goes 
around in circles and stuff like that. Very common way to uh, put a sauce on. This is a very good sauce to use. Very, uh, really uh, good. And then, um, go around the sides. But you, gonna, if, you know, if you don't like a lot of sauce, you don't have to use a lot of it. Just depending on, uh, um, you know, what's your preference and stuff like that. I like to put my sauce all the way to the edge. You know, that's me. That was too much to the edge. <laughs> but anyway. Really good thing to do, but, you know. Saying really fun to put together. I always we always put the pizza together. I think the next one I would be probably doing is a deep dish pizza. So that's the next thing that I'm gonna get around to doing next. You know. Uh, uh, all right. So now what we do is uh, put the, you know mozzarella cheese on there. So you just you know just put it around. You know what I'm saying? You know uh, depending on what kind it is. I always I always like to use fresh mozzarella. Uh, cheese, especially when you're doing a margarita pizza, because hey, it's uh, it's it'll be out the hood. Really, like I said, really simple ingredients and stuff like that. You know, um, you don't have to be cute with it. That's just me doing it. Because when you actually put a margarita pizza together, you wanna, you know, uh, do it. You know, really nice. Especially if you got guests over. But if it don't matter, just slap it on whatever you want. Something like that. You know, just spread it around. You know, put as much cheese as you like on there. You know, uh, I like, you know, like cheese. So, use it, use it all. Next, we're going to add the basil. You know, you can tear it, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Put them in between each of the cheeses and stuff like that. Spread it around nicely, however you like. Stuff to break it apart, putting around, but you know, pretty pretty simple ingredients. Like I said, with this, it comes down to a margarita pizza. Love margarita pizza. One of the uh, famous Italian pizzas, you know, uh, out there. You know, you see, you know, it's real simple, and that's all it really is. And uh, now that we're done, we'll throw it into the oven next. Preheat your oven on 450 degrees and leave your pizza in there for 8 to 10 minutes. Check it off and on to make sure it's brown just like you like. After your pizza is done, take it out. Let it cool for a little bit, about uh, one minute, and then slice it, you know what I'm saying, to serve. And that's what it does. Thank you for stopping by Chopping the Griller with your boy KC. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next dish. Take it.